Dr. Jonette, I grow with Dr. Jonette. Today we are making crispy Parmesan purple potatoes. If you're looking for a main dish to make for your Halloween party, these crispy Parmesan perfect potatoes are perfect for your party. So let's get cooking. I've actually gone ahead and cut the purple potatoes in half. To the pan that we have, we're adding a three tablespoons of melted butter and about, these are from my garden, so they're tiny, but for regular garlic, they probably would be about four cloves of regular garlic. And we're gonna mash the, and I'm gonna mash the garlic into the melted butter. Spread that all around in the bottom of the pan there. And we want to just basically get that garlic kind of all mashed up and spread around. Then we're going to go, now. next we're going to go ahead and sprinkle our Parmesan cheese on top. I'm using about, probably about the purple potatoes, about a pound and a half of purple potatoes, just so you know how many potatoes you're going to want to buy. And this is a eight and a half by 11 baking pan that we're making here today. So I just kind of pat that all down into the butter. And then I want to add some herbs on top of that. We're going to, let's see, I'm gonna get this out of the way. And we want to chop up some herbs. I like to make sage ribbons rather than dice up the sage. This is some fresh sage from my garden and we're gonna have put some fresh sage, some fresh rosemary and a little fresh parsley in the, on top of the cheese in the potatoes on, or in, on top of the cheese before we add the potatoes. That's good and I, just take some of the leaves off of the rosemary rather than chop up that hard stem. I love the smell of herbs when I'm chopping them up. I don't know which tastes better or which is which I enjoy, what I enjoy more, eating them or just smelling them when I chop them up. It's about a toss up, I think. We're gonna, I have a little. If you're using dried herbs, total want, you want probably about a teaspoon of parsley, a teaspoon of rosemary, and a teaspoon, probably a half a teaspoon of sage. And we're gonna go ahead and sprinkle that in our, And then right on top of that, we are going to arrange our potatoes. We're gonna bake it at 400 degrees for probably 35 to 45 minutes. I check it at 30 minutes to see if the potatoes are soft and if the bottom layer is looking browned and crispy. If the potatoes are still firm, I go ahead and cook a lot, you know, check it every five minutes until the potatoes are nice and soft. I've noticed though that when I'm, you're, 
I've noticed though that when you're cooking with the darker potatoes, like the purple potatoes or the red potatoes, they don't seem to take as long to cook as your white potatoes. So we're going ahead and put this in the oven and uh, talk about our neuro nutrition nugget for potatoes. For today's simple and smart tip, if you don't have purple potatoes, you can make these with either red potatoes or even white potatoes. I like to use fingerling potatoes because each potato is an individual appetizer. Also, make these the night before, put them in your fridge, and on the day of your party, heat them up in the oven 400 degrees for about five to seven minutes just before you serve them. They'll be nice and hot and taste like they are fresh right out of the oven. Today's Neuro Nutrition Nugget is about purple potatoes. Purple potatoes are the most nutritious of the three types of potatoes, red, white, and purple. Red are next, next in nutrition and white are have the least amount of nutrition. This is because vegetables that have color also are higher in antioxidants, as specifically an antioxidant called anthocyan. Anthocyan is one of those antioxidants that really does help protect your brain against free radicals, as well as help prevent, may help prevent cognitive decline and memory loss. In addition to the anthocyanins, the purple potato also has a couple of other things that are important. One is vitamin C, which adds some additional antioxidant properties to it, and also is important for the production of neurotransmitters. Neurotransmitters are how the nerves communicate with each other, as well as how they communicate with the cells throughout the body. And the other thing that purple potatoes have is potassium. Potassium is critical for proper functioning and communication of the cells within the brain, but also throughout the body. So add some purple potatoes to your diet. And these crispy purple potatoes are delicious and a great way to do that. Thank you for watching and subscribing to my channel. Also, don't forget to hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on any of our delicious and nutritious brain healthy recipes. They're budget friendly and they also are, and I also give you fascinating insights into the neuroscience of nutrition and food. So don't forget to leave me a comment and share your favorite recipe or any innovative twists that you have tried with these recipes. Also, for more information as well as the full recipe, go to my website at growwithdrjonette.com. And when you subscribe to my channel, you help us reach one of our goals to reach 10,000 subscribers, 10,000 people with all of these great recipes and neuro content by the end of this year. See you next time on Grow with Dr. Jonette.